right, and so we're back on into the series. Evil Geniuses versus Take Flight, making our way to Mirage. Take Flight, they, they showed some confidence towards the end of it. I'll give them credit for that, but Evil Geniuses are looking like, well, the unkillable gods they should be here in Easy I'm buying Joe Bacola, X McHenry, pistol around all the way. It's a confidence pick of Evil Geniuses here. Absolutely, and they're going to look to assert that here. HE goes in early, doesn't do as much damage as you'd think here. The flashbang doesn't work either. They're easily avoided, and that will be the site claimed right there. That was the big defensive measure, was that little belt of utility, and now they're going to have to play the retake. The old classic Astralis execute that we've been seeing for like five years of Mirage, and it works out wonderfully. Gabe, that flash a little too telegraphed, so the rest of his team will have to bear the brunt. Hex up top on the trash can here. A missile's helped out by Junior dispatching of Sandman. Kozmo has one right back. Good headshot in. Maybe a retake effort? No. Quickly shut down by Automatic and Junior. Now just Zaylor out in the open, swung by literally four players. And that is Evil Geniuses who will scoop up the pistol. Nicely done at the start right there. Just out of the gates, find that entry. Then they set themselves up for success in the post plant. That CT spawn control is absolutely necessary. Once they establish that dominance, they are able to close out from there. Well set up. Evil geniuses start off their confidence pick. Exactly how they'd hope. They're going to roll it back towards that A side pretty quickly here. As you can see, bomb heading that way. Four players, only one towards middle. Ooh, what a start from MDS. Bye-bye. Junior hits the dirt quick, but... George takes that opportunity to sneak out from Tetris. So that one kill, not completely round defining. In fact, George just has a money position. No one even aware of this possibility. He's crossed all the way to triples. MDS is going to run through the smoke. Absolutely. And George is going to meet him on the other side. Gabe does deliver, however, on another promise. Unfortunately, couldn't find a head of Wolko. A good effort, but there's still extras in this round. Sandman, oh, that jump was unfortunately heard. Loud and clear, but a flank developing from the side of Kojimo. Maybe, just maybe, there's something here. Even if he just finds a, one kill in this flank towards Palace, could be enough to disrupt things here. Automatic, is he going to have the presence of mind to cover this here? Just about turns around in time. Still taking some flack here by Kojomo's USP and a headshot and a kill. Oh, he wins oh. out the head to head. That is unreasonable right there. Not supposed to get away with that. Also drawn away, but oh, George, they had to clear his corner here. George is going to be good for two, and that's going to lock in the round. Kojima was hoping that two could beat one, but George has just been an absolute man. As you can see, Kojima is still trying to keep some players closer to the bomb, but he's keeping himself close to the bomb as well. He's just going down to it straight up. Uh, I he should be able to survive at this range, but maybe not to long go. Nope. <laughs> bye bye. And that's 2-0 there for Evil Geniuses. Yeah, that, that bomb actually uh, does quite a bit right there. Without armor, it can get you, catch you by surprise right there. Not able to escape, so no AK, but really uh, going to have guns out anyway. So all is good. Good damage on the way out. I mean, even Kojima winning that duel straight up, pretty impressive. So we'll get back into the action here once again. Evil Geniuses off to the 2-0 start. No force buy to work up against in that last round, but they did get some good damage. A UMP out for Gabe. Interesting purchasing coming through here. We'll see what it can do. Kojimo looking like me and the pugs right now. You have over $4,750. We are buying an op. Last cannon on him. Oof. However, it's MDS who delivers. No and an way. absolute timing just hit here by Gabe. But he did not reload. Now he does. Hi there, Hex. I mean, unbelievable timing nail. Junior will trade out at least, but Hex has got to be a little furious with that. I can't believe what just came through. Ducking right underneath him. That's going to at least contain the advantage. Continue it. George. He's going to have the right molly there. Certainly is. It's going to immediately force him off Zaylor. And yeah, it takes care of him as well. That's beautiful from George. There goes your B anchor. And look at the pressure it puts on Sandman. Oh, he just made noise inside a ladder room. Surely these players on Cat heard that, or maybe they didn't. Sandman with one, but not the second. Junior does deliver on that front. It's 2v2 in as well. George creeping out of the apartment. 
Hartman's Kojimo. Oh, he misses the shot. This is mission critical for Kojimo. He gets wrapped up by George. He needed to connect. And now MDS is just put in an impossible situation. Wow, that, that's devastating right there. Kojimo, that, that critical shot misses and costs him. His life could cost him the round really? unless MDS can bail him out. Junior is he, he's out in the open right now. George only now clearing catwalks. Oh, buddy, what tap them? Okay, dude. Okay. All righty, buddy. That is all sick. right. All right. Just I thought he wasn't gonna clear it, and then he goes back. I don't think he saw anything either. He just get a doop, little little doop. He's gone. That is uh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I mean. George is us on an absolute tear today, should I mention. And you just put him on, like, a home turf. This is like a nouns map. Evil geniuses are just gonna slap him down on. Again, it's a confidence map pick here for evil geniuses. Everyone knows how to frag here. Walko and Automatic are gonna have this madness. Same goes for Hex. Mirage Eeks. FFADM. <laughs> get your eeks while you can. While they're hot. Before they get the rifles. Like Sandman. Sandman. He's gonna get out of dodge here. At least try to. He's gotta fight his way out of this position. And he should be uh, sidelined from T-Spawn. He's distracting him. Oh! Oh! oh poor automatic. He doesn't go down. I mean... Sam Ed, he goes down with the fight. He has something to say towards the end of it. No fun in games with you, George. Toying with him, Sam Ed realizes something's up here. Yeah, this guy isn't swinging me. Why would he not swing me? There's only one reason. That's how, <laughs> that's how, uh, how much the mind games have taken over. Good, uh, good little flare there from Sam Ed to find one extra on his way out, but. It's another scary start for EG. He's going for the all-out B-Rush here. When smoke here, George going to take an opportunity to push past that up to the corner. Zaylor, though, top of Van. You're running out of ammo, though, and then falls right into George's crosshair. Sandman on the hold, but only good for one. Good aim. Maybe not good enough. Kojo mispositioned. Text gets that one locked in. Takes a lick of flame, but it doesn't matter. With the bomb plants in and no kits. Tough scenes for take flight. Oh, there's uh -oh. one big kill. They've made their way out of market as well. Oh man. Automatic is none the wiser to this as well, but ring around the rosy round the smokes. Gabe back turn, but so is Hexts. Now it's automatic inside of the smokes. You gotta wonder, where is he right now? He misses his opportunity, but then Gabe walks into the spray. Now the 1v1, and MDS just basically has the full stick. It automatic, just barraging him with flashbangs, and there's no winning this for MDS. It's a one round for evil geniuses. He'll walk away with a kill, a good effort, but I don't even think he survives the bomb. 5-0 EG. On the shelf right there. Left to cool off. At the tail end of that round, a really nice attempt there and the retake, but it's just not enough. Just not enough. Automatic able to close things out right there. Finish the job and lock things in. Going to move them on up five to zero. You just see a little bit more depth come through early game here. Take flight. They've shown us what they can do late into these games when their back's against the wall. But in the early stages here, they want to find themselves some ground. Looking to do it here. MDS covering a lot of turf, but about to be meeting. I mean, a full team in front of them. There's a flashbang. I mean, it's so up for you, man. No chance at winning that. Zaylor's Deagle has to do everything. And second man in line, Hex, will drop him. B site overrun again. They haven't planted the bomb, keep in mind. They left it at default. It's like plant it after we get all the kills. It just shows the confidence here for EG. Of course, 
Sandman getting leveled out. At least able to walk away with a single kill. Meanwhile, they got Walco lurking. Out towards the safe side, Kojomo. Just walking over towards me. It's just missed his chance to catch a free Walco. I just look to hold on to this. 5-7. Maybe gets an op to come his way, and that's a nice upgrade, but... Things shaping up even better for EG. You, you just said it perfectly, though, at the start of this. This is a confident pick for Evil Geniuses. I mean, Ancient felt super comfortable for them, and then they head into their own pick here, Mirage, and it's just... Very dominant. I mean, this more or less started out the same here on Ancient as well. But honestly, I have a lot more hope for Take Flight's CT side, I think individually speaking. Each player is holding their own, like Sandman has been hitting shots, obviously. But Evil Geniuses have been playing a really, I think, balanced game. It's, there's a bit of disrespect in between, but you can see that they're just not... They're showing some patience. They're showing a bit of discipline. And they're getting easily rewarded there. You see MDS just in an impossible position when faced down with three players and uh, and the flashbangs as well to back it up. They're just getting away with so many early opening picks here. I like that they pluck Kojomo to try and find the op early. Not as deep as I would have thought on this aggression here. Playing a pretty far back angle. Ooh! Oh. Sailor though, he's just plucked one right out of the server. Deep Molly combined with the spam. He oh, laser. laser beams too! He gets both in back abs! Unbelievable. Kojimo, that angle does not exist in CS2 anymore, but he'll hit the shot the good old fashioned way. Hex down. Kojimo still advancing. Oh. Feeling confident just as Junior lets go of the line. Kojimo just pressing for. Oh my goodness, this guy's a lunatic. He jumps past the angle. Surely a double swing. No, it's Walco. Hands him the shoulder. Now Junior put in the 1v5. But Kojimo and Sailor putting this first round on the board. It takes light. I want to toss this one yeah, out not too. A bad idea. <laughs> Watch out below, spectators. Yeah. Here's a couple ops. You know, he's not going to be able to have an op here. And that was just off the back of some lack of discipline right there that you're going to walk watch back and be kind of uh, gritting your teeth at, right? Because you, you re-swing, you re-peak with a 5-7. You get that kill, you end things early. That's really nice. But you go down and you maybe don't expect fully to get punished without having an op. But really good decision making there from Junior. There's no money to reinvest into it. And the op was a huge part of that success. I mean, <laughs> Zeller certainly finding two through the wall can't hurt, but Kojomo being there to back up that B-bomb site helped out as well to secure. Well, we have some mid-aggression here. Two players advancing. But if they overstep, it's Junior's op on the other end. Maybe they don't realize the potential threat. Junior flicks over, but it's only through the wall. The trade is there for Walco, though. He completes the frag. Automatic with a follow-up onto MDS to compound the issues here for Take Flight. Gabe searching for answers, but Automatic will not provide any. Should get a free peek here. There you go, two kills right on back okay. today. And Gabe able to reply. The kill apiece there, and we're right back in Eco stud. Even still, I mean, pretty even on each team. Junior's down low. Oh, oh but a swing wow. there from Gabe. Maybe a miscommunication on where these players could potentially be. The 3v3 just goes up in smoke. Joma does have a line for a moment as Walco just deletes him. Zaylor, 16 HP. And now his position known. The clutch becomes more difficult. But Junior's also on 8 HP. But side turn and right through the wall. Not wasting any time getting the full sight picture. Fires it through the corner. 7-1 EG. Done right there. I, I mean, that one does put down to a couple weird decisions. Gabe right there, like you said, I, I feel like that has to be the case, right? The communication of where they could be because that was some bold play coming through there that you'd only do if you, you know, knew you were going to be up against one or something along those lines. EG, though, really punishing the aggression there towards middle quite nicely. They have the buddy system. They're able to wield those opening picks full effect. And this elevated angle. Ooh, not good for the opener, though. Yeah. 
a missed opportunity, but we will see Tommy I mean, Jr. taking pot shots. But no mid control at the end of the day. This duel means everything though, and Hex absolutely nails it. But one back, Coach Mo at least answers. Problem is mid has fallen, retaking here. Even all of these entries working out. Zaylor, a desperate attempt with the MP9 to keep things in contention, calling over for Kajomo, but a player bottom gone, he wasn't ready for it. Automatic flips the gap. And Zaylor in a very tough position. Caught a little bit blindsided there. Oh. Automatic. <laughs> able to readjust in time. Just composes himself and finds the headshot. That is impressive. 8 to 1 now. Pain train does not stop anytime soon. And probably a bit of whiplash there. EG. So much investment towards middle in that last round. And then. And the next, very next breath, they have Hex ready to default and Palace to deal with the punished aggression. So. Really well played there. And just like Ancient, it's a very heavy lead for Evil Geniuses. They keep up all of this pressure. George does get to sneak out of A main. And player top of Palace Valk was not spotted. Sandman at least gets away with one, but always to you right back. Kojima leaping through the stairs smoke. And again, one for one trades, not what Take Flight are looking for here. to double out towards this A side here. They're waiting for some sort of re-aggression. They might want to wait for Automatic to also be in a position where he can activate here, but they're being very disciplined in this 3v2. Which I do appreciate here. EG, they've been playing a very active style all throughout. And now, yeah, that's what they were waiting for right there. That's exactly what they wanted. Yep, just a little bit of aggression. An overstep. An easy kill, but it's uh, it's getting weird now. Zaylor inside a spawn. Now down to 20. Somehow as to do this with the 5-7 as well as Automat closing in. Junior will finish the job. And the 5-7 crisis averted. As evil geniuses keep running up the tally here. Nine now. See? they could get the same score right here another 10 to 2 half or evil genius has just continue to press the issue absolute domineering performance here so far they want to take this mid control again this time they have gabe on the secondary op to do so here more ops less problems here Ooh. wait they have triple op Zabler, he's hopping over towards me. I thought that was Kojo because he's been doing it earlier, but there's no! another op. Gabe, he's got it. They've seen two oppers and they haven't even seen Kojo yet. But there's a problem. Oh, I mean, no. with these two op kills, but EG still have the better positioning here. There's potential to frag back. That kill from Walco is excellent too. Sandman hunting for the kill and he can't find it. Oh no. Now he's just out in the open. Easy pickings for Junior. It's the just like triple off remaining and Zaylor is cooked here. There is no surviving this. Hello there. Nice Point. AWP. That's a B site. Oh, and another up. Oh, <laughs> Kojo's blasted. Oh my god. And now it towards the B site here. It's going to be a locked in bomb plant, and poor Gabe has to rotate all the way around. Op retake. It was looking so good. Triple ops. But everything else goes wrong. He's glass cannon. The only thing he's got to help himself out in this retake is a Zeus. I ain't liking his odds. He's out of there. Triple ops, not enough. Even with the double opener. Automatic, the secret agent. That's unbelievable. Yeah, that's just... Uh... Not the way I thought that round would go here with Zeller, uh, Zeller and Gabe both finding op opening picks. But like you said though, that space creation right there, the, the you know boost up in towards window and then the crucial kill from Walco and the staying alive factor as well is just so huge. It's again, at least going to be 10 to two here, but a chance for even extra here for EG. 
and with how things have been shaping up, they looked to stop for absolutely nothing. Yeah, I mean, you have to look to the second half, maybe some consolation rounds here for Take Flight, but... This one has the numbers 2-0 written all over it. And a quick one. But game... Okay! I mean, opening three kills for Take Flight. Surely this is enough to lock it in. Welcome. He faces the fall back. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that's brutal. 15 HP for Wonko. Oh, and a Zeus on the other <laughs> side. There we go. Why not? Now automatic with a 1v5. Seek revenge. This is the revenge. first time we've seen a 1v5 from this position. Oh, I... I I'm just... <laughs> don't remind me, Cole. Don't remind me. It wasn't necessarily automatic to do it, though. And Sandman will lock it in. Another 10 to half in this series. Can take flight somehow turn it around? They've got an uphill battle, to say the least. Evil geniuses, as per usual, towering over their opposition, right? A 10 to 2 once again. Could they get a pistol to just get this one over with, or will take flight? Give us some hope. I'm fine, Drop a Color X McHenry. Already midway through the site take and into jungle, take flight. Putting the pressure on, and Junior can't handle it. We have a little bit of a post plant here. A chance for take flight. Gotta start with the pistol here. They want to dig themselves in that same deep hole of having to win nine rounds in a row like they did on Ancient, and they might okay. be able to avoid that. 
with a big pistol here. It's just going to be a 2v5. George and Hex left last standing. George and has a Glock. Pick that one up. Wait. Oh, okay. I guess he got a key spawn with someone. <laughs> he definitely did. It didn't matter, though. As Hex, uh, gonna try and put up a little bit of. Sh oh, my. Oh, Wait. I was thinking someone was gonna bring out the cutlery there. I don't know who it was. Uh, Zaylor will take it down by conventional means. It'll be the pistol for take flight. That's what they needed right there. I mean, again, if they want a chance in this one, they saw the huge issue of starting on. What was it? Down 11 to. Or 12 to like four or five, and it's just not enough, really. So, it's going to be take flight with their opportunity. Of course, you're getting those four spies here to keep the pressure upon the side of take flight. If they can just win on the eco, all that uh, talk will be nullified very quickly. Oh, walk go, though. He's giving it his best shot, but. As a result, hello there though! Player jumped right into George! He's somehow still alive for the moment. But Junior does bring a Deagle headshot to the table. Anything extra from these pistols could be in the world. And you can see the take flight are really uneasy about this one. Hexed. Up to no good. Into the site, down to 11 points of health though. Problematic. Chances running thin here. For evil geniuses, as MBS will lock it in with the smoke spam. And that, all right, pistol plus conversion. Anything more than that? We're going to the full eco here. I have to be a little bit more disciplined on the CT side economy. That's what we'll see. No investments. Freebie for the fifth round. It only becomes a five-round game. It is on the CT side, though, of Mirage. I've seen a lot of teams really thrive in the way that you can take this control here. Imagine EG is going to be one of those rosters. I mean, it could be more of the same. Again, take flight... You don't want to necessarily be a team that gets all their momentum once, you know, the scoreline is this far behind. But this is going to be the opening three rounds of the half. All I will say is so far, it's numbers on the board. That being, I mean, what I'm saying is not super meaningful rounds just yet. Next one will really speak the most here. Junior gets an op. Walko uh, walks into the molly a little bit. Now the jig's up. Uh, Cole, they don't have the bomb. Oopsie. Someone ought to go get that. Just imagine if someone was in T-spawn. Just imagine. Just imagine, because there isn't any. And take flight will have won their full eco. Big surprise. Nice and easy right there. All right, all righty. Got a cheeky little pause there. Huh. Little pause coming through here for the take flight and evil geniuses. I mean, this is the round that means a whole lot. Why do I feel like Junior is just going to jump out mid or like bottom connector and just go for this the absolute classic aggressive op play to, to lead off? Is that a little too predictable or am I on the money? Do you think uh, it might be a little bit predictable? I feel like your genius is looking to throw a wrench in the system here. If take flight, just try and disrupt them early. They've been playing that all throughout the entire side of Ancient, just to try and throw that uh, pressure down on take flight. And they've been getting away with it quite a bit, so when the time out expires, we'll see if they can bring that energy once again. Oh, just kidding. We're back.
So, hey man, I'm always a big fan of the the, the, the jump out window here, but Junior doesn't necessarily have the spawn for it. It actually is feasible. He's... Never mind, I think I'm getting uh, yeah, I'm getting the numbers wrong on the mini-map. He's closer to, more towards the A side, so trying to predict these opening plays. Right now, the question is what take flight are going to bring to the table. Sometimes you might think the op could be in play or not. I think you just have to play like it is. So, no mid-presence at all for the T-side. A full mid-presence for Evil Geniuses to start. We've been doing this a couple of rounds now in a row here. This heavy defaulting towards the B-side of things. And, oh, that could have been a freebie. A huge opener, but it's missed. Instead, it's going to be George to recover. Zeller's down early. They're hoping to sell some rotates and kind of getting some ground over towards that A-side as well. They're executing both sides of the map right now. Problematic though, as again, Kojimo nades in hand and the bomb was still in T-spawn. No capitalization on the map control. MDS makes his way up connector and eats some flak in the back. And we'll try to drop down bottom middle. Instead, however, Gabe finds more space. Still more chances here. Hex running out of ammo, which just barely gets that kill on MDS. But Sandman walks out of A main and oh, a little lackadaisical there. Sandman out in the open. That's the bomb spotted. This is going to just be a race to T-spawn right now, and Sandman's not going to win out on that exchange. She's going to lose out on that foot race here quite a bit, but Hex doesn't have enough HP to win this fight comfortably. It's called back in automatic, though, and that's the bomb. Sandman trying to rotate to his teammate, and Gabe starts to realize the helplessness of this situation. Running and jumping out window. Automatic, here's everything. I mean, yeah, I mean, he could toy with his opponents, but Gabe is just going to scoop up the op and leave. Evil geniuses. 11 rounds to them. Has to be the save called out. No questions asked. Counter terrorists win. Gabe's going to be able to bring that. I felt like right there, a lot of fights on a lot of different fronts right there. So, you know, not being able to win a lot of them. It's a huge problem in the late round. Led him to struggle in the 2v2. Because you have one player on the other side of the map from the bomb. So it's really difficult there to operate in those sort of situations. I kind of like the idea, though, from Take Flight. There's a world where that works if they were able to uh, capitalize on some of that map control. If there was players to step quicker, like NDS and his alert towards Khan. Oh! Automatic. Gets oh. free range on window, no window smoke. And so he just finds two for free. And it's a perfect spray as well, even at long range. He goes back in for thirds. Triple kill for automatic at top middle. It's not even the op. Sick lineup, by the way, for the nades of the smoke. Zaylor almost Ooh. gets away with a double right back, though. So damage dealt. And take flight, surprisingly, are still in this. And Walker will give a fight. Oh. But it's not one out there. Crucially, Walco closes out that duel here. And Zaylor, if he wants to win this round, he's got to do it all on his own. Yeah, just a tad bit unfortunate. And I think Zaylor, if Zaylor's barrel can be spotted from Cat, if Hex decides to walk forward. I think Sailor actually has a chance in this. He has open sight lines. Walko on a very weird angle. And there you go. Zaylor gets the first. Hex, though, still on catwalk, but he hears the drop down. Chance Zaylor up on the bench. Could not nail the shot. But Zaylor has a smoke that gives him access in towards that A site. Real opportunities here. He gets a plant minimum, surely. Yeah, 100%. There's no one on this A side to deal with here. Just both players over towards catwalk right now. Bomb finally does go down. Automatic going to go in first to try and find this kill quickly. Oh, and, but he's oh, still out in the open. The smoke. I think he was hoping for too much respect out of Evil Geniuses. Zaylor, no idea where that last player was, of course. So, have to take some risks at the end of the day. And that's series point, EG. Locked themselves in. 
on 12. Giving themselves seven opportunities to close. They needed quite a bit of runway on that first map to finish their job. They've given themselves it once again on their own map pick now. A bomb plant really helping take flight in their opportunities to purchase up in this one. So that's nice, at least for them. They're not left with pots and pans. This time a window smoke, which is much needed. Automatic punish you heavy for that last time around. Cool. How aggressive in towards the apartments and uh, Zaylor. I'm having a good time. Interesting flash there, Junior. Meantime, Sandman has been, again, putting in work, and MDS follows up. Junior only now arriving into spawn, though, and, well, MDS not respecting it. And Sandman also in a very compromised position now towards Triple. Walking up, shoulder spotted. Easy for the op to pick that apart. Three versus three now all of a sudden. You can see... A boost in towards window here, Hexed. He might try and cover it. And you can see he just jiggled it. He's got some idea that that's a possibility here, but you're not going to really stick around too long to find out what's around that corner. Super focused on the connector play. Is Kojima Sears going to play it? I don't think Hex could punish this. And he does! Just swings out jungle, no problem, Gabe. I mean, an opportunity to trip ahead he gets around the corner. He will go down as a result, but you see Junior cutting off this cross. He's so lethal. Good flashbang, though, to neutralize. Junior's dangerous off. Kept at bay. However, George starts marauding up connector. And George to do George things. He just takes the individual fight. Drops Gabe. Zaylor to hold on to the series here for take flight. First kill is good. But him versus George, a tough opponent in front of him. George, how much respect will he show? Zaylor, absolutely paranoid right now. George, unable to land the shot, though. And now time is Holy getting that tick. And Zaylor shows up with a 1v2 when he's most needed. Six rounds on the board for take flight. That is absolutely sick right there. Beautiful clutch from Zaylor. In the back of the site, able to just pop a head off right there clean. And that'll be the lifeline granted to take flight here once again. Being able to further the distance in this one. Give them a little bit of runway. Give them a little bit of fight here. That you wouldn't expect when they were down. They're looking out. Especially in that 2v1 when Junior starts to fire through that smoke there. Big impact. Onto the full eco. Double up in towards this. Apartment angle. They'll give them the fight that they're looking for. But I imagine there's going to be some sort of utility. Not quite. Oh, a little awkward. However, Gabe does win his duel, and now Hex is down next. No, Walco. From the IGL has to deal with the USP. Oh Zaylor couldn't do it. I mean, uh -oh. this, is, this is serious. This is serious. Sandman. Oh, no. He's out in the open. He's not going to go down to the USP. That could have been a calamity. Instead, it's Walco in a 1v3, but low HP bars all around. And... No, Gabe almost went down to his teammate Smoke, got hit by it. Coach Mo will lock it in. 12 to 7. Round by round here for Take Flight. 7 on the board. Still, again, more work to be done. They want to finish this here on the side of Evil Geniuses. They got a gun round out again, though. The fast window smoke lined up from Sandman. I toss that one down range. Give him some early ground towards mid. Seen a lot of heavy defaulting early towards that B side. We've seen some cool game plans come through here for take flight. Look at this one, Junior. Going for the old jump spot there into the spray down. But later going to get boosted in towards window. Or rather ladder. Okay. George is going to be able to escape and at least provide support to the B site if needed, but just as he leaves, Take Flight will fill that vacuum in middle and begin to walk up connector. George is watching, but he could get surprised at the SDs in hand, and he's going to go down. Two kills instantly here for Take Flight. And now it's Walco. 
down underneath balcony needs to can't find it instead it's junior's paw that has to do the work helped out by hex though in middle flicks the two targets and drops the bomb and maybe the series here for take flight sandman has to show up he's out in the open as well junior just gonna take the fight and end the series there no more comeback efforts for take flight 13 to 7 and a clean 2-0 here for eg yeah, that's an incredibly confident series right there coming through again off of the back-to-back -back confident victories here. This team just continues to plow through the competition here to close out their season.